In this tech bit, we discuss flow in the annulus form between the coil tubing and the well and related modeling options to determine the annular pressure loss. Specifically, we focus on the flow area found between the coil tubing and the well bore as depicted in this diagram showing a well annulus segment. Here, the well annulus segment is inclined at an angle theta to the vertical and the red arrows indicate the flow direction to be from bottom to surface. Note that the coil tubing position can vary in the well bore as shown in the cross-sectional view from a concentric to an eccentric position. When the coil tubing is concentric within the well bore, the axis of the coil tubing and the well coincide, whereas in an eccentric position, the coil tubing and the well bore axis are separated by a small distance. In addition, the coil tubing can be buckled along the well bore length. During coil tubing operations, any application that involves circulation includes flow through the annulus. In forward circulation, flow direction in the annulus is from bottom to surface, whereas in reverse circulation, flow direction is from surface to bottom in the annulus. Some common example coil tubing applications are listed here. In wellbore cleanout that involves sand cleanout, plug milling or drill outs, debris is transported in the annulus to the surface in forward circulation. During well unloading with nitrogen, production is restored through the annulus by pumping nitrogen in the coil tubing. Moreover, in annular fracturing applications, frac slurry is pumped from the surface in the coil tubing annulus for well stimulation. From a design perspective, accurate modeling of annular pressure losses are necessary to estimate the bottom hole pressure correctly and ensure operational success. So, how do we model the flow in the coil tubing annulus? Here, the hydraulic diameter is introduced which relates to the flow area in non-circular geometries. By definition, hydraulic diameter is four times the cross-sectional flow area divided by the wetted perimeter. In the cross-sectional view of the wellbore annulus shown, hydraulic diameter is simply the difference of the well inside diameter and the outside diameter of the coil tubing. Note that well in general refers to casing, liner, or open hole. Furthermore, an important geometrical parameter to consider in modeling annular flows is the diameter ratio, which is the ratio of the coil tubing outside diameter to the inside diameter of the well. Another approach to model the flow in the annulus is to represent the annulus as a thin rectangular slot this is only applicable for a narrow annulus where the diameter ratio is greater than 0.3. Thus, for the slot flow approximation, the equivalent diameter for the annulus is 0.816 times the difference between the wellbore ID and the coil tubing OD. There is also an equivalent or effective diameter that can be utilized to model flows in an angular geometry. And there are many expressions in the literature which are used for both Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids. Moreover, pipe eccentricity is found to have a considerable effect on the annular pressure loss. As mentioned earlier, the distance between the coil tubing and the well axis renders the coil tubing to be in an eccentric position. And this distance is referred to as the absolute eccentricity. This absolute eccentricity is related to a dimensionless relative eccentricity through the coil tubing OD and well ID as shown here. Thus, for a concentric coil tubing, the relative eccentricity is zero Whereas for a fully eccentric coil tubing in the wellbore, the relative eccentricity is 1. The dimensionless relative eccentricity is more convenient and suitable for mathematical modeling. In coil tubing applications, flows are mostly turbulent in the annulus, 
although laminar flows can occur sometimes. There are several analytical expressions, approximations, and empirical correlations that have been developed for flows in both concentric and eccentric annuli. The accuracy of these analytical approximations and correlations depend on the range of validity for which they have been developed. For example, the correlations may be applicable for a certain fluid type, range of diameter ratios, and relative eccentricity. In addition, here's a quick note on the applicability of the hydraulic diameter which is commonly used for annular flows. The hydraulic diameter is not recommended for laminar flows. Errors can be large and as high as 47% for Newtonian fluids. However, it can be used in turbulent flows, which is mostly the case for coil tubing applications. It's also important to consider the effects of sectional variations resulting from different casing, liner, or open hole sizes on the annular pressure losses. These sectional variations can also occur due to variations in the BHA section zone. Here's an example that shows the variation of the coil tubing annulus friction pressure loss in a horizontal well where fresh water is circulated. The diameter ratios in this horizontal well vary between 0.38 and 0.56. This graph shows the annual friction pressure loss for a range of flow rates between 2 and 5 BPM, with the flow being turbulent even at the lowest flow rate of 2 BPM. The results are shown for both the hydraulic diameter and the slot flow approximation in a concentric and fully eccentric annulus. As expected, the annulus friction pressure loss increases with flow rate. In general, the annulus friction pressure loss reduces with eccentricity of the coil tubing, which is consistent with experimental investigations that have been reported in the literature. Also, note that for this example, the slot flow approximation estimates a higher annular friction pressure loss compared to the hydraulic diameter for both concentric and eccentric cases. To summarize this tech bit on flow in the coil tubing annulus, we discussed that the annular flow is governed by two key geometrical parameters, that is the diameter ratio and pipe eccentricity. Flow modeling in the coil tubing annulus can be performed using the hydraulic diameter, slot approximation, equivalent or effective diameter, which are all different representations of the annulus geometry. From a job design perspective, the applicability of the annulus model and the range of validity of the correlations need to be considered. Coil tubing is seldom concentric, so it is reasonable to assume some eccentricity or even an eccentricity profile to estimate the annulus friction pressure losses accurately, as it impacts the bottom hole pressure determination, which is necessary for job success.